Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Ryan and welcome back to Iowa Classic Cars. Today I've got a special video and that is I have ordered a two car trailer. So I'm going to talk about this new trailer that I just picked up today. What all it's got for options and, and what you can uh, expect to see with it. So the first thing to note here is this was made by HP Trailers down in Brattyville, Iowa. This is not a shout out video or a sponsorship video. I paid with this with my own money. Just wanted to kind of show off the trailer and uh, talk about what I'll be doing with it in the near future here. So it's a 34 foot gooseneck with a four foot dovetail for a total length of 38 foot. The reason I ordered a 38 foot is because 259s is roughly 36 foot because they're 18 feet a piece. And I wanted a little bit of breathing room to have a winch up front as well as some space in between the cars so not slamming into each other on the ride home. I also did not want to have the fins overhanging on the trailer. So I figured 38 foot was kind of the, the best of both worlds. It's a 14,000 pound GVW. So this trailer and that truck are under the 26,000 pound requirement for a CDL. I'm going to get my CDL just because I probably do need it, but this setup is DOT compliant. I ran that by the Iowa DOT before I purchased this trailer and they confirmed that. So it is a full wood floor with I believe five inch channel steel for the framing with a single 12 ton jack here in the middle. I've also had a winch plate put in the floor right there at the very front of the trailer. And as you can see here, the real estate on this thing is just incredible. So I'm not going to be using this trailer too terribly often just because, you know, I really don't need to be pulling it around the whole country, especially just buying a single car. But there have been times where two or three cars have popped up at one sale or, you know, one yard or whatever, and I've had to go back two or three times in order to pick up all the cars. So this will save me a lot of time, money, fuel, wear and tear in the truck, any and all of the above. The next thing that I love about this trailer and all of HP's trailers in general, my first car trailer is actually from HP as well, is the ramps are here on the side. Some of them, you know, are right here in the, in the very back of the deck and you have to slide them straight out. This at least makes it nice so when the cars are up there on there, you don't need to crawl around on the cars to get the, the ramps out. You just pull the pin right there and out they come. They're standard five foot ramps. I probably should have gotten longer ramps, um, but you know, it'll be okay for what I'm doing here. I also had four D-rings put on the, on the trailer. I've got them kind of evenly spaced out just to uh, be able to strap down each car independently. So the main purpose of this is basically just to haul two cars at one time, you know, obviously is what it is. Um, just from junkyards that I hit, you know, maybe put one car here and a bunch of parts up, up top. You know, any and all combinations um, is what this thing will be used for. Also, when I get my pink hardtop done, I've got a pink 1959 hardtop, I will be hauling both of those cars, my pink hardtop and my black hardtop, to shows. So... It'll be nice to have the ability to transport both my cars. Now for anyone that might be asking, am I doing this for other people? Am I shipping cars? No, I'm not getting in the commercial side of that. Um, hire someone else to ship a car for you if you want. Everything that will be on this trailer will be mine and owned by me. And I'm not in the business of shipping other people's freight. Just had to put that out there for a disclaimer in case anyone was wondering. The tires are a 235 80 16 8 lug rim. They are Dexter Easy Lube 7,000 pound axles. They're spaced, I think it's actually pretty good spacing where they're at, um, you know, in relation to the total length of the trailer. My first experience towing at home was about 100 miles. The truck did like to hop around a lot. Obviously, it's it's empty, um, so what do you expect? 
But I think once the thing's loaded with 259s or two, you know, two Impalas, whatever it may be, I think it'll ride just fine. So with all that being said, you guys, this is the end of today's video. I just wanted to kind of make a highlight video showing off this trailer. I've worked very hard in order to, um, you know, buy it without financing. Just save, save, save. So I wanted to kind of just show it off here for the world to see um, and kind of give you guys some, some hype for what uh, is soon to come. So if you guys did enjoy the video, please make sure to give it a like rating. Leave a comment with your favorite feature on this trailer. And make sure to subscribe for more classic car videos coming very soon. Thank you all for watching. My name is Ryan with Iowa Classic Cars. Until next time, thanks for watching.